Hello there, it's your boy Lanius. So, for the start of the video, what the fuck is this? <laughs> These are comments under my last video about software sucking. <laughs> this guy he knows where I live. Oh my god. Why, why are you so angry? I don't know, maybe it's because I criticized Alacrity at some point. I mean, like, very... But I didn't expect that. I don't know, maybe it's a joke. I hope. Anyway. So, this, this video will be a quick one. I just got an idea by the way also from from youtube mm. so i've seen this video by uh, by uh, bugs writer uh, about uh, it's basically making like a voice assistant in linux with you know some few commands but uh, yeah it's very, it's quite cool i will i will link this video because it has well much more than what I took for for uh, for this idea and what I, mm, I uh, what I really liked that is one of the things I liked is is this command you can remove this animation by the way so for example i have this tool which is basically chat gpt on okay so yeah as, as he says it's chat gpt in command line and if we have something in command line it means we can use it like in vim in emacs as well and that's exactly what i have done by the way, a nice wallpaper. Anyway, alright, so here we are. Let's go to the config. And I've created this few little functions. Uh, actually, I should have named this something else because it's not like specific to this to this thing. No, yeah. So uh, TGPT it's in Arch repository I mean Arch user repository not sure about about other distros but if I'm not mistaken it uh, it has some instructions on on the on the on the github mm. GPT of course I'm prepared as always mm. Mm -hmm. uh, do -do -do -do. It supports some other backends also, and it's really, really nice. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, it has even the Windows version. But uh, anyway, it's better in, 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 in WSL. So, anyway, uh, what was I talking about? Uh, so yeah, this is the command, it by default, mm, let me do this like that, I guess it's the second time I've shown you like, some messenger stuff, it will be cut, cut out by the way, so yeah, by default it uses open GPTs, which I didn't know about, honestly. So it just, you don't need even uh, API key, it just works, it's nice. So, as you can, as you have seen the, uh, the uh, example from, uh, from Books Writer video, you just give it a prompt and it just does its thing. So, so yeah. Here I created a little function that checks um, if the buffer 
TGPT is is there. If not, it generates a new buffer and returns it. Then uh, this function actually switches the buffer and makes it markdown mode because it returns markdown. And this is the main interactive function that creates a little prompt where you enter your prompt. It switches to the buffer, it adds your prompt as a markdown heading, adds some new lines and uh, runs the command Q so there's no uh, no the loading animation and it gets the full response not streamed one and so let's see how it works mm. so what would we ask it mm -hmm. how do you update Arch Linux and here we go and as uh, it's markdown mode so it looks quite nice in Emacs here here's our mm, prompt and yeah here's the the response so let's I don't know uh, how do you update Ubuntu 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 and here we are it just updates this uh, this buffer and gives you a response there so you could uh, as well uh, set the uh, set the TGPT so it uses like uh, OpenAI if you want you know the chat GPT the actual one like GPT-4 or whatever it has also some other backends and just use it in Emacs like that. I already have like uh, a llama, uh, uh, a llama module installed, uh, which uh, which by default uses Olama uh, run uh, locally, so it's a little slower. And I wouldn't say it has the same quality of answers like actual chat GPT but it's really nice project I mean I already made like at least one video about about it I guess maybe two even I'm not sure now <laughs> yeah it was it was it was two videos so but literally with like this few lines like 20 lines of illis I basically have the same functionality. I mean, Elama al allows some other things like uh, refactoring code in the buffer and so on, but uh, it didn't really work for me too well. So if anything, I was just doing the, uh, the, uh, the chat thing with it. Of course, I could make some additional functions like to easily switch to the buffer and so on. Of course some key binding would be nice, but I've just created it so hmm. how to add a key binding in Dumiman. So yeah, it makes sense. I mean, it's correct. So it's really fucking cool. I really like it. I mean, it's 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 way more useful than a llama because it's just quick, and I can do it inside of Emacs. Yeah, I'm just praising my 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 own little thing, but it's really nice. So. I will make, I don't know, because uh, since I'm on Windows, I no longer like update my, you know, dot files, but I guess I could just, just do it because I know I'm not, uh, it's not like I'm using Windows Emacs. So that's just my regular dot files. So I guess I will just update my dot files and maybe, maybe do a, se a separate uh, gist with just the code for the for the TGPT little thing 
which I I don't know. It it seems very useful. Uh, it was basically one of the first things I thought when I seen this command, and it was even easier to uh, implement than I thought at first. So that's this little thing. <coughs> Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.